Hello, it's Tom Donald from the London Contemporary School of Piano. Today I'm going to show you the three best Billy Joel songs for beginners. These three great Billy Joel classic tunes will have you addicted to piano in no time. Now, if you're a fan of our work at the London Contemporary School of Piano, you should head on over to our website, contemporaryschoolofpiano.com, because we have some wonderful resources, such as our free resources kit. And in that free resources kit is a bunch of chord progressions known as the mixture exercises, part one, two, and three, and they are crucial exercises to get you playing what we're going to be looking at now. So if any of the chords you're looking at now don't make any sense, it's because you need some of those materials. And you know, we have eight teachers on our team, our teachers are musical unicorns in the way they can teach and explain and break down complex musical concepts and create incredible courses for our students. So this is our way of of saying to the world, if you are unable to meet us in person, be it online or at our school, this is our way of sharing what it is we do with you to help you improve. So let's have a look at some important bits of chords, some important chords and shapes that you should know before we start playing these three Billy Joel songs. So we're gonna start with a classic that you needs no introduction, Piano Man. And Piano Man is all in the key of C major. So if I play all of the major chords that are on the white keys, I get C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C major. And uh, we can change these chords and modify them. Like we can get the D minor chord, sharpen the note in the middle, and we get a D major. E minor, sharpen the note in the middle and get an E major. And this will sometimes happen in a, in a song like Piano Man, but generally it sticks to the white keys. And by the way, this is a beginner tutorial. We're only gonna play chords. We're not going to be playing the melody and arranging the music with the chords. We're going to just play the chords, which by the way, is what this music is all about. So you wanna get playing chords. You wanna really know your chords before you start trying to find arrangements and add the tune. And you know, you, if you've already tried that and it's gotten you nowhere, it's because you're not doing enough work with your chords. So a really cool thing with this piece, if I was really to simplify it, it's a waltz and the left hand moves down the C major scale. Then once it gets down to the D, then steps up to the G. And if I just play a C over that, then an F, D major, G major, C, C over B, C over A, C over G, F, then F over G. And that's the main chord progression of Sing us a song, you're the piano man. Sing us a song tonight. And well, we're all in the mood for a memory. Got us feeling all right. I think it's melody, memory. I don't remember. I'm just thinking of the chords, right? So we got D major, G major, and then you've got us feeling all right, F over G to C. So let's review those chords again. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me. Making love to his tonic and gin You notice how I'm just stepping up from C to F major C major 7, F major And that's, the, that's a nice little piano riff Some arpeggios there Now the good news with this song is the chorus has the same chords as the verse. He says, Son, won't you play with memory? I'm not really sure how it goes. But it's sad and sweet and won't you complete when I worry on your man's clothes. So that's really cool. The singing goes up an octave. This is a great sing song song around the piano. Don't monkey around trying to play the melody in the right hand and the chords in the left hand and sounding like this. 
Sounds terrible. Get people around the piano. This thing is a social instrument. It doesn't have to be an antisocial instrument when we lock ourselves in a room and play by ourselves and, and keep away from other people at all costs. No, no, get, get your friends and your family around the piano and sing Piano Man because the chords of the verse and the chorus are pretty much the same. So there's just the middle bit. La -di -da, di -di -da. And the words are very established. La di da, di di da. So it's A minor, A minor over G, A minor over F sharp. That's pretty cool. A minor over F, G, A minor. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. That's great. G, G over F, G over E. Now Paul is a real estate novelist. Never had time for a wife. Now, now, Billy Joel does this sort of country music thing here. Um, when he wrote this album, actually, there's if you listen to the original Billy Joel album, Piano Man, which was not a big chart success at the time, which is amazing to think because the songs have just become so epped in our, edged into our consciousness. To, but there's a lot of country music influence on this album. He has other songs on there like uh, You're My Home, which sounds like a, a John Denver song. It's a beautiful tune. And he's got a song um, called Travel in Prayer. And that, I mean, that's proper country music. It's got, that's fantastic stuff. But he has these little country licks he does. Yeehaw! You know, it's like the second and the fifth note of the chord. It's not easy to do, actually. And then you, you snip it into the major. Da, 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 da. So D major, G major. I'll keep you busy. Now Paul is a real estate novelist. He never had time for a wife. And he's talking with Davy, who's still in the Navy, and probably will be for life. That's all it is. The song's got many, many verses. It's got a chorus. The chords are exactly the same. And then you've just got that la di di da da bit in the middle. There's Piano Man. All right, second Billy Joel song. She's always a woman to me. This is such a beautiful song. It's got really beautiful chords. So you probably need to go to our website, contemporaryschoolofpiano.com and look at our mixture exercises as part of our free resources pack. And the mixture exercises are covered in the four, three Elton John songs for beginners video, which you should check out that video as well. Elton John, Billy Joel, you know, it's like the yin and the yang, isn't it? So chords like E flat major. Many of you have heard me say this. These are chords you should learn. They're such great chords to learn. They're not hard to play on piano. Look at that beautiful shape. Fits the fingers like a glove. A flat major. Yes, you're a beginner, but you can play these chords. B flat major. Look at that shape, just with the one flat. And so we're going to use a lot of those chords in uh, this song, She's Always a Woman to Me, but we're going to be decorating those chords too and changing them a little bit, like modifying them. So you can get an E flat major chord and take that middle note up a semitone and you get an E flat suspended fourth. You get this sort of movement. I'm using the same fingering, one, three, and five. Then I go to a B flat major in an inversion like that. Do that again. I'm going to do A flat major in an inversion like that. Okay, let's go from the beginning. She can kill with a smile. She can rule with her eyes She can ruin your faith with her casual lies But she'll only reveal what she wants you to see She hides like a child but she's always a woman to me Now if you played Elton John's Your Song chords, which we have a video on as well, you notice the chords are very similar. I'm not saying they're copying each other. I'm not going to say anything controversial like that because they're very, very different songs. Even the way they write songs is very different, but they use very similar chords, these songs. It's in E flat major. This is because we're talking piano, piano chords. These are piano composers writing music here. And so we've got these beautiful chords like C minor, C minor over B flat, C minor over A flat, B 
E flat major. And there's a particular part I love here. We go A flat, and then I just take the thumb down, A flat major seven, A flat major six, A flat major seven. I can do that in different inversions as well. A flat major, A flat major seven, A flat major six, A flat major seven. So just that little walk down the A flat major scale in that little part there. And then that G major over a B just really changes the momentum of the music going into the C minor. So we do that again. Let's do that again. Because then we're going to arpeggiate it. She can roll with it run. Da 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 da. She can ruin your faith with her casual lies. But she'll only reveal what she wants you to see. She hides like a child, but she's always a woman to me. Now, to build the song up, Billy Joel does something genius. It's so simple. He just breaks the chords up, arpeggiates them. So you get the E flat major chord. And we're just breaking it up twice, like this. Same chords. She can lead you to love. She can take you or leave you. She can ask for the truth, but she'll never believe you. But she'll take what you give her as long as it's free. Yes, she still is like a thief, but she's always a woman to me. And so that, that's a little tricky at first because you want to get that lightness in your touch. And in fact, it's quite nice down here. She can ask for the truth, but she'll never believe you. And she'll take what you give her as long as it's free. Yes, she stills like a thief, but she's always a woman to me. Chorus, C minor, F over A. These chords are simply glorious. B flat, B flat over A, E flat over G, A flat. A flat over G, F minor 7, B flat, E flat. Then there's a shift, a big shift. Pop songs just don't do stuff like this anymore. E flat minor. We go from E flat major to E flat minor. E flat minor over D flat. A flat over C. D flat over C. G flat over B flat. B natural. B flat over the B natural, F over the A, F7, B flat, stay with me here, B flat 6, B flat 7. If you practice our mixture exercises from our resources pack, you will get this. That it will prepare you for all of this stuff. Trust me, I teach beginners to do this every day. So it works. So you just trust the process here. I know there's a lot of chords in this song, but that's what's so great about it. So let's go from the chorus. She'll promise you more than in the Garden of Eden And she'll carelessly cut you and laugh while you're bleeding And she'll bring out the best and the worst you can be Blame it all on yourself, but she's always a woman to me so that's the song. It's a wonderful, wonderful chord progression. I hope you're taking notes, writing down these chords. It's good to actually write them down as well and, and just really absorb them and try them on the piano. Pra 
practice slowly. You're a beginner, right? Or an intermediate player, practice slowly. You've got to learn to crawl before you walk. We've got one more piece. I'm going to show you just the way you are. This is a classic Billy Joel song. There's a lot of seventh chords in here, so you'll need to study our Holy Trinity of Seventh Chords resources kit. Holy Trinity of Jazz Chords and Seventh Chords. It's available from our resources pack. It will teach you the seventh chords. Again, very easy to understand. Just go to our website. Just ask our team to send our resources kit to you. It's all there. Now, the last out of our three Billy Joel songs for beginners is Just The Way You Are. And I'm doing a bit of a service for, to Billy Joel by teaching you this piece because I'll tell you something about it. In its official sheet music, it's actually printed with a mistake on it. So Billy Joel often talks about this. He goes to cocktail bars and he hears people play this song and they're playing it all wrong and it drives him insane because the mistake on it really is not a very nice mistake. So this is what you'll see written on a sheet music of this song. You'll see something like this written and it's not correct. This is what you'll see. No, it doesn't do that. It does this. So there's this suspended fourth chord being used rather than it just immediately resolving and it just sort of takes all the soul out of the music for it to resolve so quickly. So what are these chords? We have a second inversion chord of a D major, A, D and F sharp. And then we go to a G minor, starting on a B flat, B flat, D and G. It's a nice movement, isn't it? Now we're gonna make that G minor chord, we're gonna add an E to it, to turn it into a G minor six. There's the shape of those two chords and we get this. Then we go to a G major and then resolve it to a, G sus a D suspended fourth and then it resolves back. So it's like this. And these are the chords, D major, B minor six, so the B minor with the sixth note added, G major seven, B minor, D seven over A, G major seven, G minor seven, F sharp minor seven, A minor seven, D seven, G major seven, G minor seven, F sharp minor seven, B minor seven, D over A, E seven, G over A to A. Now you might be thinking, all oh, these seventh chords, I don't know them, I'm, I'm just a beginner, I don't remember them all. That's why you need to go to our website, contemporaryschoolofpiano.com, and ask for our holy trinity of seventh chord sheet, which is on our resources pack, because it will clarify all those seventh chords for you. So let me give you the context. context. Don't go changing to try and please me you never let me down before Don't imagine you're too familiar, and I don't see you anymore. I would not leave you in times of trouble. We never could have come this far. Mm -hmm. I took the good times. I'll take the bad times I'll take you just the way you are I need to know that you will always be The same old someone that I knew Key change coming up B flat major, these chords are glorious C with a B flat in the bass, A minor seven, D minor seven. It's one of the greatest chord progressions. B flat, C over B flat, A minor seven, D minor seven, then G minor seven, then the A, suspended fourth, leading us back to the verse. So we get this then. I need to know that you will always be 
the same old someone that I knew. This I promise from the heart mm-hmm. I could not love you And better I love you just the way you are So I hope these three Billy Joel songs give you a fantastic uh, springboard for you to practice your chords and analyze your chords and learn these chord shapes on the piano. Get stuck into our resources pack because it's there to help you. Or if you're ready to take your playing to the next step, you should inquire about our coaching. It really will make a huge difference. And it's been a pleasure showing you these wonderful songs and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See you soon. Bye-bye.